Session 20, February 9th, 1981. I am Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator I communicate now. Question. To go back a bit, what happened to the second density entities who were unharvestable when the third density began? I assume that there were some that did not make it into third density. Ra, the second density is able to repeat during third density a portion of its cycle. Question. Then the second density entities who did not get harvested at the beginning of this 75,000 year period, some are still on this planet, were any of these second density entities harvested into the third density within the past 75,000 years? Ra, this has been increasingly true. Question. So more and more second density entities are making it into third density. Can you give me an example of a second density entity coming into the third density in the recent past? Ra, perhaps the most common occurrence of second density graduation during third density cycle is the so-called pet. For the animal, which is exposed to the individualizing influences of the bond between animal and third density entity, this individuation causes a sharp rise in the potential of the second density entity, so that upon the cessation of the physical complex, the mind-body complex does not return into the undifferentiated consciousness of that species, if you will. Question. Then can you give me an example of an entity in third density that was just previously a second density entity? What type of entity do they become here? Ra. As a second density entity returns as third density for the beginning of this process of learning, the entity is equipped with the lowest if you will so call these vibrational distortions, forms of third density consciousness, that is, equipped with self-consciousness. Question. This would be a human in our form, then, who would be beginning the understanding of third density. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. Speaking of the rapid change that occurred in the physical vehicle from second to third density, this occurred, you said, in approximately a generation and a half, Body hair was lost, and there were structural changes. I am aware of the physics of Dewey B. Larson, who states that all is motion or vibration. Am I correct in assuming that the basic vibration that makes up the physical world changes, thus creating a different set of parameters, shall I say, in this short period of time between density changes, allowing for the new type of being? Am I correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. Is the physics of Dewey Larson correct? Ra, the physics of sound vibrational complex Dewey is a correct system as far as it is able to go. There are those things which are not included in the system. However, those coming after this particular entity, using the basic concept of vibration and the study of vibrational distortions, will begin to understand that which you know as gravity and those things you consider as N dimensions. These things are necessary to be included in a more universal, shall we say, physical theory. Question. Did this entity, Dewey, then bring this material through for use primarily in the fourth density? Ra, this is correct. Question. Yesterday we were talking about the split that occurs when an entity either consciously or unconsciously chooses the path that leads to either service to others or service to self. The philosophical question of why such a split even exists came up. It was my impression that just as it is in electricity, if we have no polarity in electricity, we have no electricity. We have no action. Therefore, I am assuming that it is the same in consciousness. If we have no polarity in consciousness, we also have no action or experience. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. You may use the general term work. Question. Then the concept of service to self and service to others is mandatory if we wish to have work, whether it be work in consciousness or work of a mechanical nature in the Newtonian concept in the physical, is this correct? Ra, this is correct with one addendum. The coil, as you may understand this term, is wound, is potential, is ready. The thing that is missing without polarizing is the charge. Question. Then the charge is provided by the individualized consciousness. Is this correct? Ra. The charge is provided by the individualized entity using the in-pouring and in-streaming of energy by the choices of free will. Question. Thank you. 
As soon as the third density started 75,000 years ago, and we incarnate third density entities, what was the average human lifespan at that time? Ra, at the beginning of this particular portion of your space-time continuum, the average lifespan was approximately 900 of your years. Question. Did the average lifespan grow longer or shorter as we progressed in third density experience? Ra, there is a particular use for the span of life in this density, and given the harmonious development of the learning teaching of this density, the lifespan of the physical complex would remain the same throughout the cycle. However, your particular planetary sphere developed vibrations by the second major cycle, which shortened the lifespan dramatically. Question. Assuming a major cycle is 25,000 years at the end of the first major cycle, what was the lifespan? Ra. The lifespan at the end of the first cycle, which you call major, was approximately 700 of your years. Question. Then in 25,000 years, we lost 200 years of lifespan. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question, can you tell me the reason for this shortening of lifespan? Ra, the causes of this shortening are always an in euphemous or inharmonious relational vibration between other selves. In the first cycle, this was not severe due to the dispersion of people, but there was the growing feeling complex distortion towards separateness from other selves. Question, I am assuming that at the start of one of these cycles, there could have been either a positive polarization that would generally occur over the 25,000 years, or a negative polarization. Is the reason for the negative polarization and the shortening of the lifespan the influx of entities from Mars who had already polarized somewhat negatively? Ra, this is incorrect. There was not a strong negative polarization due to this influx. The lessening of the lifespan was due primarily to the lack of the building of positive orientation. When there is no progress, those conditions which grant progress are gradually lost. This is one of the difficulties of remaining unpolarized. The chances, shall we say, of progress become steadily less. Question. The way I understand it, at the beginning of these 75,000-year cycles, then, we had a mixture of entities, those who had graduated from second density on Earth, they become third density, and then a group of entities transferred from the planet Mars to continue third density here. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. You must remember that those transferred to this sphere were in the middle of their third density, so that this third density was an adaptation rather than a beginning. Question. What percentage of the entities who were here in third density at that time were Martian? and what percentage were harvested from Earth's second density. Ra. They were perhaps one half of the third density population being entities from the red planet, Mars as you call it, perhaps one quarter from second density of your planetary sphere, approximately one quarter from other sources. Other planetary spheres or entities chose this planetary sphere for third density work. Question. When they incarnated here, did all three of these types mix together in society or groups, or were they separated by groups in society? Ra. They remained largely unmixed. Question. Then did this unmixing lend to a possibility of warlike energy between groups? Ra. This is correct. Question. Did this help to reduce the lifespan? Ra. This did reduce the lifespan, as you call it. Question. Can you tell me why 900 years is the optimum lifespan? Ra, the mind-body-spirit complex of third density has perhaps 100 times as intensive a program of catalytic action from which to distill distortions and learn teachings than any other of the densities. Thus, the learned teachings are most confusing to the mind-spirit-body complex, which is, shall we say, inundated by the ocean of experience. During the first, shall we say, perhaps 150 to 200 of your years, as you measure time, a mind-body-spirit complex is going through the process of a spiritual childhood. The mind and the body are not enough in a disciplined configuration to lend clarity to the spiritual influence. Thus, the remaining time span is given to optimize the understanding which results from experience itself. Question. Then at present, it would seem that our current lifespan is much too short for those who are new to third density lessons. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. 
those entities which have in some way learned taught themselves the appropriate distortions for rapid growth can now work within the confines of the shorter lifespan. However, the greater preponderance of your entities find themselves in what may be considered a perpetual childhood. Question. Back in the first 25,000 year period or major cycle, what type of aid was given by the Confederation to the entities who were in this 25,000 year period so that they would have the opportunity to grow? Ra, the Confederation members which dwell in inner plane existence within the planetary complex of vibratory densities worked with these entities. There was also the aid of one of the Confederation which worked with those of Mars in making the transition. For the most part, the participation was limited as it was appropriate to allow the full travel of the working of the confusion mechanism to operate in order for the planetary entities to develop that which they wished in, shall we say, freedom within their own thinking. It is often the case that a third density planetary cycle will take place in such a way that there need be no outside, shall we say, or other self-aid in the form of information. Rather, the entities themselves are able to work themselves towards the appropriate polarization and goals of third density learn teaching. Question. I make the assumption that if maximum efficiency had been achieved in this 25,000 year period, the entities would have polarized either towards service to self or towards service to others, one or the other. This would have made them harvestable at the end of the 25,000 year period, in which case they would have had to move to another planet because this one would have been third density for 50,000 more years. Is this correct? Ra, let us untangle your assumption, which is complex and correct in part. The original desire is that entities seek and become one. If entities can do this in a moment, they may go forward in the moment, and thus were thus to occur in a major cycle. Indeed, the third density planet would be vacated at the end of that cycle. It is, however, more towards the median, or mean, shall we say, of third density development throughout the one infinite universe, that there be a small harvest after the first cycle, the remainder having significantly polarized, the second cycle having a much larger harvest, the remaining being even more significantly polarized, the third cycle culminating the process and the harvest being completed. Question. Was the Confederation watching to see and expecting to see a harvest at the end of the 25,000 year period, in which the percentage would be harvestable fourth density positive, and a percentage harvestable fourth density negative. Ra, that is correct. You may see our role in the first major cycle as that of the gardener who, knowing the season, is content to wait for the spring. When the springtime does not occur, the seeds do not sprout. Then it is that the gardener must work in the garden. Question. Am I under understand, then, that there was neither a harvest of positive or negative entities at the end of that 25,000 years? Ra, this is correct. Those whom you call the Orion group made one attempt to offer information to those of third density during that cycle. However, the information did not fall upon the ears of any who were concerned to follow this path to polarity. Question. What technique did the Orion group use to give this information? Ra, the technique used was of two kinds. One, the thought transfer, or what you may call telepathy. Two, the arrangement of certain stones in order to suggest strong influence of power, this being those of statues and of rock formations in your Pacific area, as you now call them, and to an extent in your Central American regions, as you now understand them. Question. Were you speaking in part of the stone heads of Easter Island? Ra. This is correct. Question. How would such stone heads influence the people to take the path of service to self? Ra. Picture, if you will the entities living in such a way that their mind, body, spirit complexes are what seem to be the mercy of forces which they cannot control. Given a charged entity such as a statue or a rock formation charged with nothing but power, it is possible for the free will of those viewing this particular structure or formation to ascribe to this power, power over those things which cannot be controlled. This then has the potential for the further distortion to power over others. Question. How were these head stone heads constructed? Ra, these were constructed by thought after a scanning of the deep mind, the trunk of mind tree, looking at the images most likely to cause the experience of awe in the viewer. 
Question. Did the Orion entities do this themselves? Did they do this in the physical? Did they land or did they do it from the mental plane? Ra, nearly all of these structures and formations were constructed at a distance by thought. A very few were created in later time in imitation of original constructs by entities upon your earth plane density. Question. What density Orion entity did the construction of these heads? Ra, the fourth density, the density of love or understanding, was the density of that particular entity which offered this possibility to those of your first major cycle. Question. You use the same nomenclature for the fourth density negative as for the fourth density positive. Both are called the dimension of love or understanding. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Love and understanding, whether it be of self or self toward other self, is one. Question. What was the approximate date in years past of the construction of these heads? Ra, this approximately was 60,000 of your years in the past time space of your continuum. Question. What structures were built in South America? Ra, in this location were fashioned some characteristic statues, some formations of what you call rock and some formations involving rock and earth. Question. Were the lines at Nazca included in this? Ra, this is correct. Question. Since they can only be seen from an altitude, of what benefit were they? Ra, the formations were of benefit because charged with energy of power. Question. I'm a little confused. These lines at Nazca are hardly understandable for an entity walking on the surface. He cannot see anything but disruption of the surface. However, if you go up on a high altitude, you can see the pattern. How was it of a benefit to the entities walking on the surface? Ra, at the remove of the amount of time-space, which is now your present, it is difficult to perceive that at the time-space 60,000 years ago. The earth was formed in such a way as to be visibly arranged in powerful structural design from the vantage point of distant hills. Question. In other words, at that time there were hills overlooking these lines. Ra, this will be the last full question of the session. The entire smoothness, as you see this area now, was built up in many places in hills. The time-space continuum has proceeded with wind and weather, as you would say, to erode to a great extent both the somewhat formidable structure of earth designed at that time and the nature of the surrounding countryside. Question. I think I understand, then, that these lines are just the faint traces of what used to be there. Ra, this is correct. Question. Thank you. We need to know whether or not it's possible to continue with another session today, and whether there's anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. Ra, it is possible. We ask that you observe carefully the alignment of this instrument. Otherwise, they are conscientious. Is there any short query before we close? Question. I intend in the next session to focus upon the development of the positively oriented entity in the first 25,000 years. I know you can't make suggestions. Can you give me any comment on this at all? Ra, the choices are yours according to your discernment. I leave you in the light and love of the one infinite creator, Adonai. Session 21, February 10th, 1981. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator I communicate now. Question. I have a couple of questions that I don't want to forget to ask in this period, so I will ask them first. The first question is, would the future content of this book be affected in any way if the instrument reads the material that we have already obtained? Ra, the future as you measure in time-space communications which we offer through this instrument have no connection with the instrument's mind complex. This is due to two things. First, the fidelity of the instrument in dedicating its will to the service of the infinite creator. Secondly, the distortion understanding of our social memory complex that the most efficient way to communicate material with as little distortion as possible, given the necessity of the use of sound vibration complexes, is to remove the conscious mind complex from the spirit-mind-body complex so that we may communicate without reference to any instrument's orientation. Question. Do you use the instrument's vocabulary or your own vocabulary to communicate with us? Ra. We use the vocabulary of the language with which you are familiar. This is not the instrument's vocabulary. However, this particular mind-body-spirit complex 
retains the use of a sufficiently large number of sound vibration complexes that the distinction is often without any importance. Question. So at the start of this 75,000 year cycle, we know that the quarantine was fully set up. I am assuming then that the guardians were aware of the infringements of the free will that would occur if they didn't set this up at that time, and therefore did it. Is this correct? Ra, this is partially incorrect. The incorrectness is as follows. Those entities whose third density experience upon your red planet was brought to a close prematurely were aided genetically while being transferred to this third density. This, although done in a desire to aid, was seen as infringement upon free will. The light quarantine, which consists of the guardians, or gardeners as you may call them, which would have been, in effect, was intensified. Question. When the 75,000 year cycle started, the lifespan was approximately 900 years average. What was the process and scheduling mechanism, shall I say, of reincarnation at that time? And how did the time in between incarnations into third density, physical, apply to the growth of the mind-body-spirit complex? Ra, this query is more complex than most. We shall begin. The incarnation pattern of the beginning third density, mind-body-spirit complex, begins in darkness. For you may think or consider of your density as one of as you may say, a sleep and a forgetting. This is the only plane of forgetting. It is necessary for the third density entity to forget so that the mechanism of confusion or free will may operate upon the newly individuated consciousness complex. Thus, the beginning entity is one and all innocence oriented towards animalistic behavior, using other selves only as extension of self for the preservation of the all-self. The entity becomes slowly aware that it has needs, shall we say, that are not animalistic, that is, that are useless for survival. These needs include the need for companionship, the need for laughter, the need for beauty, the need to know the universe about it. These are the beginning needs. As the incarnations begin to accumulate, further needs are discovered. The need to trade, the need to love, the need to be loved the need to elevate animalistic behaviors to a more universal perspective. During the first portion of third density cycles, incarnations are automatic and occur rapidly upon the cessation of energy complex of the physical vehicle. There is a small need to review or to heal the experiences of the incarnation. As what you would call the energy centers begin to be activated to a higher extent, more of the content of experience during incarnation deals with the lessons of love. Thus, the time, as you may understand it, between incarnations is lengthened to give appropriate attention to the review and the healing of experience and previous incarnations. At some point in the third density, the green ray energy center becomes activated, and at that point, incarnation ceases to be automatic. Question. When incarnation ceases to be automatic, I am assuming that the entity can decide when he needs to incarnate for the benefit of his own learning. Does he also select his parents? Ra, this is correct. Question. At this time in our cycle, near the end, what percentage of the entities incarnating are making their own choices? Ra, the approximate percentage is 54%. Question. Thank you. During his first 25,000 year cycle, was there any industrial development at all, any machinery available to the people? Ra, using the term machine, to the meaning which you ascribe, the answer is no. However, there were, shall we say, various implements of wood and rock which were used in order to obtain food and for use in aggression. Question. At the end of his first 25,000 year cycle, was there any physical change that occurred rapidly, like that which occurs at the end of a 75,000 year cycle, or is it just an indexing time for harvesting period? Ra. There was no change except that which according to intelligent energy, or what you may term physical evolution, suited physical complexes to the environment, this being of the color of the skin due to the area of the sphere upon which entities lived, the gradual growth of people due to improved intake of foodstuff. Question. Then at the end of the first 25,000 year period, I am guessing that the guardians discovered that there was no harvest at either positively or negative oriented entities. Tell me then what happened, what action was taken. 
Ra, there was no action taken except to remain aware of the possibility of a calling for help or understanding among the entities of this density. The Confederation is concerned with the preservation of the conditions conducive to learning. This, for the most part, revolves about the primal distortion of free will. Question. Then the Confederation gardeners did nothing until some of the plants in the garden called them for help. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. Question. When did the first call occur, and how did it occur? Ra, the first calling was approximately 46,000 of your years ago. This calling was for those of Maldek. These entities were aware of their need for rectifying the consequence of their action, and were in some confusion in an incarnate state as to the circumstance of their incarnation, the unconscious being aware, the conscious being quite confused. This created a calling. The Confederation sent love and light to these entities. Question. How did the Confederation send this love and light? Where did they do? Ra. There dwell within the Confederation planetary entities, who from their planetary spheres do nothing but send love and light as pure streaming to those who call. This is not in the form of conceptual thought, but of pure and undifferentiated love. Question. Did the first distortion of the law of one then require that equal time, shall I say, be given to the self-service oriented group? Ra. In this case, this was not necessary, for some of your time due to the orientation of the entities. Question. What was their orientation? The orientation of those entities was such that the aid of the Confederation was not perceived. Question. Since it was not perceived, it was not necessary to balance this. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. What is necessary to balance is opportunity. When there is ignorance, there is no opportunity. When there exists a potential, then each opportunity shall be balanced. This balancing caused by not only the positive and negative orientation of those offering aid, but also the orientation of those requesting aid. Question. Thank you very much. I apologize in being so stupid in stating my questions, but this has cleared up my understanding nicely. Then in the second 25,000 year major cycle, was there any great civilization that developed? Ra. In the sense of greatness of technology, there were no great societies during this cycle. There were some advanced among those of Deneb, who had chosen to incarnate as body in what you would call China. There were appropriately positive steps in activating the green ray energy, green ray energy complex in many portions of your planetary sphere, including the Americas. The continent, which you call Africa, the island which you call Australia, and that which you know as India, as well as various scattered people. None of these become what you would name great as the greatness of Lemuria or Atlantis is known to you due to the formation of strong social complexes, and in the case of Atlantis, very great technological understanding. However, in the South American area of your planetary sphere as you know it, there grew to be a great vibratory distortion towards love. These entities were harvestable at the end of the second major cycle without ever having formed strong social or technological complexes. This will be the final question and completion of this session. Is there a query we may answer quickly before we close as the instrument is somewhat depleted? Question. I would just like to apologize for the confusion of my part in carrying on the second 25,000 years. I would like to ask if there's anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. We would like to have a second session today. Ra, you may observe a slight misalignment between book, candle, and perpendicular of censor. This is not significant, but as we have said, the cumulative effects upon this instrument are not well. You are conscientious. It is well to have a second session given the appropriate exercising and manipulation of this instrument's physical complex. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 22, February 10, 1981 I am Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator I communicate now. Question. I will ask a couple of questions to clear up the end of the second major cycle. Then we will go on to the third and last of the major cycles. Can you tell me what was the average lifespan at the end of the second major cycle? Ra, by the end of the second major cycle, the lifespan was as you know it, with certain variations among geographically isolated people, more in harmony with intelligent energy and less bellicose. Question. 
Can you tell me the length of the average lifespan in years at the end of the second major cycle? Ra, the average is perhaps misleading. To be precise, many spend approximately 35 to 40 of your years in one incarnation, with the possibility, not considered abnormal, of a lifespan approaching 100 of your years. Question. Can I assume, then, that this drastic drop in average lifespan from 700 years to less than 100 years in length during the second 25,000 years was caused by an intensification of a lack of service to others? Ra, this is in part correct. By the end of the second cycle, the law of responsibility had begun to be effectuated by the increasing ability of entities to grasp those lessons which were there to be learned in this density. Thus, entities had discovered many ways to indicate, indicate a bellicose nature, not only as tribes or what you call nations, but in a personal relationship, each with the other, the concept of barter having given way to the concept of money, also the concept of ownership having won ascendancy over the concept of non-ownership on an individual or group basis. Each entity, then, was offered many more subtle ways of demonstrating either service towards others or service to self, with the distortion of the manipulation of others. As each lesson was understood, these lessons of sharing, of giving, of receiving, and free gratitude, each lesson could be rejected in practice. Without demonstrating the fruits of such learned teaching, the lifespan became greatly reduced, for the ways of honor duty were not being accepted. Question. Would this shortened lifespan help the entity in any way that he would have more time in between incarnations to review his mistakes, or would this shortened lifespan hinder him? Ra, both are correct. The shortening of the lifespan is a distortion of the law of one, which suggests that an entity not receive more experience in more intensity than it may bear. This is only an effect upon any individual level and does not hold sway over planetary or social complex. Thus, the shortened lifespan is due to the necessity for removing an entity from the intensity of experience which ensues when wisdom and love are, having been rejected, reflected back into the consciousness of the Creator, without being accepted as part of the Self. This then causing the entity to have the need for healing and for much evaluation of that incarnation. The incorrectness lies in the truth that, given appropriate circumstance, a much longer incarnation in your space-time continuum is very helpful for continuing this intensive work until conclusions have been reached through the catalytic process. Question. You spoke of the South American group which was harvestable at the end of the second cycle. How long was their average lifespan at the end of the second cycle? Ra, this isolated group had achieved lifespan stretching upward toward the 900-year lifespan appropriate to this density. Question. I am assuming that the planetary actions that we are experiencing now which it seems shortens all lifespans here, was not strong enough then to affect them and shorten their lifespan. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. It is well to remember that at the nexus in space-time, great isolation was possible. Question. How many people populated the earth totally at that time, that is, were incarnate in the physical at any one time? Ra, I am assuming that you intend to query regarding the number of incarnate mind-body-spirit complexes at the end of the second major cycle, this number being approximately 345,000 entities. Question. Approximately how many were harvestable out of that total number at the end of the cycle? Ra. There are approximately 150 entities harvestable. Question. Then as the next cycle started, were these the entities who stayed to work on the planet? Ra. These entities were visited by the Confederation and became desirous of remaining in order to aid the planetary consciousness. This is correct. Question. What type of visit did the Confederation make to this group of 150 entities? Ra. A light being appeared bearing that which may be called a shield of light. It spoke of the oneness and infinity of all creation and of those things which await those ready for harvest. It described in golden words the beauty of love as lived. It then allowed a telepathic linkage to progressively show those who were interested the plight of third density when seen as a planetary complex, and it then left. Question. Did all these entities then decide to stay and help during the next 25,000-year cycle? 
Ra, this is correct. As a group they stayed. There were those peripherally associated with this culture which did not stay. However, they were not able to be harvested either, and so, beginning at the very highest, shall we say, of the sub-octave of third density, repeated this density. Many of those who have been of the loving nature are not wanderers, but those of this particular origin of second cycle. Question. Are all these entities still with us in this cycle? Ra, the entities repeating the third density major cycle have, in some few cases, been able to leave. These entities have chosen to join their brothers and sisters, as you would call these entities. Question. Are any of these entity names that we would know from our historical past? Ra, the one known as Sound Vibration Complex, St. Augustine, is of such a nature. The one known as St. Teresa of such a nature. The one known as St. Francis of Assisi of such a nature. These entities, being of monastic background, as you would call it, found incarnation in the same type of ambience appropriate for further learning. Question. As the cycle terminated 25,000 years, 25, years ago, what was the reaction of the Confederation to the lack of harvest? Ra, we became concerned. Question. Was any action taken immediately, or did you wait for a call? Ra, the Council of Saturn acted only in allowing the entry into third density of other mind-body-spirit complexes, of third density, not wanderers, but those who sought further third density experience. This was done randomly so that free will would not be violated, for there was not yet a call. Question. Was the next action taken by the Confederation when a call occurred? Ra, this is correct. Question. Who or what group produced this call, and what action was taken by the Confederation? Ra, the calling was that of Atlanteans. This calling was for what you would call understanding with the distortion towards helping other selves. The action taken is that which you take part of in this time, the impression of information through channels as you would call them. Question. Was this first calling then at a time before Atlantis became technologically advanced? Ra, this is basically correct. Question. Then did the technological advancement of Atlantis come because of this call? I am assuming that the call was answered to bring them the law of one, and the law of love as a distortion of the law of one. But did they also then get technological information that caused them to grow into such a highly advanced technological society? Ra, not at first, at about the same time as we first appeared in the skies over Egypt, and continuing thereafter, other entities of the Confederation appeared unto Atlanteans, who had reached a level of philosophical understanding, shall we misuse the word, which was consonant with communication, to encourage and inspire studies in the mystery of unity. However, request being made for healing and other understanding, information was passed having to do with crystals and the building of pyramids, as well as temples, as you would call them, which were associated with training. Question. Was this training the same sort of initiatory training that was done with Egyptians? Ra. This training was different and that the social complex was more, shall we say, sophisticated and less contradictory and barbarous in its ways of thinking. Therefore the temples were temples of learning, rather than the attempt being made to totally separate and put upon a pedestal the healers. Question. Then were there what you call priests trained in these temples? Ra. You would not call them priests in the sense of celibacy or obedience and of poverty. They were priests in the sense of those devoted to learning. The difficulties became apparent as those trained in this learning began to attempt to use the crystal powers for those things other than healing, as they were involved not only with learning, but became involved in what you would call the governmental structure. Question. Was all of their information given to them in the same way that we are getting our information now? through an instrument such as this instrument. Ra, there were visitations from time to time, but none of importance in the, shall we say, historical passage of events in your space-time continuum. Question. Was it necessary for them to have a unified social complex for the visitation to occur? What conditions were necessary for these visitations to occur? Ra, the conditions were two. The calling of a group of people whose square overcame their integrated resistance of those unwilling to search or learn. The second requirement, 
the relative naivete of those members of the Confederation who felt that direct transfer of information would necessarily be helpful for Atlanteans as it had been for the Confederation entity. Question. I see then. What you are saying is that these naive Confederation entities had the same thing happen to them in the past, so they were doing the same thing for the Atlantean entities. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. We remind you that we are one of the naive members of the Confederation and are still attempting to recoup the damage for which we feel responsibility. It is our duty as well as honor to continue with your people, Therefore, until all traces of the distortion of our teach-learning have been embraced by their opposite distortions and balance achieved. Question. I see. Then I will state the picture I have of Atlantis, and you tell me if I am correct. We have a condition where a large enough percentage of the people of Atlantis had started at least going in the direction of the Law of One and living the Law of One for their call to be heard by the Confederation. This call was heard because, using the law of squares, it overrode the opposition of the Atlantean entities who were not calling. The Confederation then used channels such as we use now in communication and also made contact directly. But this turned out to be a mistake because it was perverted by the entities of Atlantis. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct with one exception. There is only one law. That is the law of one. Other so-called laws are distortions of this law some of them primal and most important for progress to be understood. However, it is well that each so-called law, which we also call way, be understood as a distortion rather than a law. There is no multiplicity to the law of one. This will be the final question in length of this working. Please ask now. Question. Can you give me the average lifespan of the Atlantean population? Ra. The average lifespan, as we have said, is misleading. The Atlanteans were, in the early part of their cultural experience, used to lifespans from 70 to 140 years, this being, of course, approximate. Due to the increasing desire for power, the lifetime decreased rapidly in the later stage of civilization, and thus the healing and rejuvenating information was requested. Do you have any brief queries before we close? Question. Is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Is there anything that we can do for her? Ra, the instrument is well. It is somewhat less easy to maintain clear contact during a time when some or one of the entities in the circle of working is or not fully conscious. We request that entities in the circle be aware that their energy is helpful for increasing the vitality of this contact. We thank you for being conscientious in the asking. I am Ra. It is with great joy to leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 23, February 11th, 1981 I am Ra, I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. Question, you were speaking yesterday of the first contact made by the Confederation, which occurred during our third major cycle. You stated that you appeared in the skies over Egypt at approximately the same time that aid was given in Atlantis. Can you tell me why you went to Egypt and your orientation of attitude and thinking when you first went to Egypt? Ra, at the time of which you speak, there were those who choose to worship the hawk-headed sun god, which you know as vibrational sound complex Horus. This vibrational sound complex has taken other vibrational sound complexes, the object of worship being the sun disk represented in some distortions. We were drawn to spend some time, as you would call it, scanning the people for a serious interest amounting to a seeking which would might help without infringement. We found that at that time the social complex was quite self-contradictory in its so-called religious beliefs, and therefore there was not an appropriate calling for our vibration. Thus, at that time, which you know of as approximately 18,000 of your years in the past, we departed without taking action. Question. You stated yesterday that you appeared in the skies over Egypt at that time. Were the Egyptian entities able to see you in their skies? Ra, this is correct. Question, what did they see, and how did this affect their attitudes? Ra, they saw what you would speak of as a crystal-powered, bell-shaped craft. This did not affect them due to their firm conviction that many wondrous things occurred as a normal part of the world, as you would call it. 
in which many, many deities had powerful control over supernatural events. Question. Did you have a reason for being visible to them rather than being visible? Ra, this is correct. Question. Can you tell me your reason for being visible to them? Ra, we allowed visibility because it did not make any difference. Question. Then at this time, you did not contact them. Can you answer the same question that I just asked with respect to your next attempt to contact the Egyptians? Ra, the next attempt was prolonged. It occurred over a period of time. The nexus or center of our efforts was a decision upon our part that there was a sufficient calling to attempt to walk among your people as brothers. We laid this plan before the Council of Saturn, offering ourselves as service-oriented wanderers of the type which land directly upon your inner planes, without incarnate process. Thus we emerged or materialized in physical, chemical complexes, representing as closely as possible our natures, this effort being to appear as brothers and spend a limited amount of time as teachers of the Law of One, for there was an ever stronger interest in the sun body, and this vibrates in concordance with our particular distortion. We discovered that for each word we could utter, there was thirty impressions we gave by our very being, which confused those entities who had come to serve. After a short period, we removed ourselves from these entities, and spent much time attempting to understand how best to serve those to whom we had offered ourselves in love light. The ones who were in contact with that geographical entity, which you know as Atlantis, had conceived of the potentials for healing by use of the pyramidal shape entities. In considering this and making adjustment for the differences, as in your distortion complexes of the two geographical cultures, as you would call them, we went before the council again, offering this plan to the council as an aid to the healing and longevity of those in the area you know as Egypt. In this way, we hope to facilitate the learning process, as well as to offer philosophy articulating the Law of One. Again, the Council approved. Approximately 11,000 of your years ago, we entered by thought form. Your, we correct this instrument, we sometimes have difficulty due to low vitality. Approximately 8,500 years ago, having considered these concepts carefully, we returned, never having left in thought, to the thought form areas of your vibrational planetary complex, and considered for some of your years as you measure time how to approximately build these structures. The first, the Great Pyramid, was formed approximately 6,000 of your years ago. Then in sequence, after this performing by thought of the building or architecture of the Great Pyramid, using the more, shall we say, local or earthly material rather than thought form material to build the other pyramidal structures. This continued for approximately 1,500 of your years. Meanwhile, the information concerning initiation and healing by crystal was being given. The one known as Ignatin was able to perceive this information without significant distortion and for a time, moved, shall we say, heaven and earth in order to invoke the Law of One and to order the priesthood of those structures in accordance with the distortions of initiation and true compassionate healing. This was not to be long-lasting. As the entity's physical dissolution from your third density physical plane, as we have said before, our teachings became quickly perverted. Our structures once again went to the use of the so-called royal, or those with distortions towards power. Question. When you spoke of pyramid healing, I am assuming that the primary healing was for the mind. Is this correct? Ra, this is partially correct. The healing, if it is to be effectuated, must be funneling without significant distortion of the in-streaming through the spiritual complex into the tree of mind. There are parts of this mind which block energies flowing to the body complex. In each case, in each entity, the blockage may well differ. However, it is necessary to activate the sense of the spiritual channel or shuttle. Then, whether the blockage is from spiritual to mental or from mental to physical, or whether it may simply be a random and purely physical trauma, healing may then be carried out. Question. When you started building the Pyramid at Giza using thought, were you at that time in contact with incarnate Egyptians, and did they observe this building? Ra. At that time we were not in close contact with incarnate entities upon your plane. 
we were responding to a general calling of sufficient energy in that particular lo location to merit action. We sent thoughts to all who were seeking our information. The appearance of the pyramid was a matter of tremendous surprise. However, it was carefully designed to coincide with the incarnation of one known as a great architect. This entity was later made into a deity in part due to this occurrence. Question. What name did they give this deity? Ra. This deity had the sound vibration complex, Imhotep. Question. What can you tell me about the overall success of the pyramid? I understand that the pyramids were not successful in producing a rise in consciousness that was hoped for, but there must have been some success that came from them. Ra. We ask you to remember that we are of the brothers and sisters of sorrow. When one has been rescued from that sorrow to a vision of the one creator, then there is no concept of failure. Our difficulty lay in the honor responsibility of correcting the distortion of the law of one which occurred during our attempt to aid these entities. The distortions were seen as responsibilities rather than failures. The few who were inspired to seek are our only reason for the attempt. Thus we would perhaps be in the position of paradox in that as one sought illumination. We were what you call successful, and as others became more sorrowful and confused, we were failures. These are your terms. We persist in seeking to serve. Question. Can you tell me what happened to Ignaton after his physical death? Ra, this entity was then put through the series of healing and review of incarnational experiences, which is appropriate for third density experience. This entity had somewhat in the distortion of power ameliorated by the great devotion to the Law of One. This entity thus resolved to enter a series of incarnations in which it had no distortion toward power. Question. Can you tell me what the average lifespan was for the Egyptian at the time of Ignaton? Ra. The average lifespan of these people was approximately 35 to 50 of your years. There was much what you would call disease of a physical complex nature. Question. Can you tell me of the reasons for the disease? I think I already know, but I think it might be good for the book to state at this time. Ra, this is, as we have mentioned before, not particularly informative with regard to the Law of One. However, the land you know as Egypt at that time was highly barbarous in its living conditions, as you would call them. The river which you call the Nile was allowed to flood and to recede, thus providing the fertile grounds for the breeding of disease which may be carried by insects. Also the preparation of foodstuffs allowed disease to form. Also there was difficulty in many cases with sources of water, and water which was taken caused disease due to organisms therein. Question. I was really questioning about the more basic cause of disease rather than the mechanism of transmission. I was going back to the root of thought that created the possibility of disease. Could you briefly tell me, if I am correct in assuming, that the general reduction of thought over the long time on planet Earth, with respect to the Law of One, created a condition whereby what we call disease could develop? Is this correct? Ra, this is correct and perceptive. You as a questioner begin now to penetrate the outer teachings. The root cause in this particular society was not so much a bellicose action although there were, shall we say, tendencies, but rather the formation of a money system and a very active trading and development of these tendencies towards greed and power, thus the enslaving of entities by other entities and the misapprehension of the Creator within each entity. Question. I understand, if I am correct, that a South American contact was also made. Can you tell me of the nature of your contact with respect to the attitude about the contact, its ramification, the plan for the contact, and why the people were contacted in South America. Ra, this will be the final full question of the session. The entities who walked among those in your South American continent were called by a similar desire upon the part of the entities therein to learn of the manifestation of the sun. They worshipped this source of light and life. Thus, these entities were visited by light beings not unlike ourselves, Instructions were given, and they were more accepted and less distorted than others. The entities themselves began to construct a series of underground and hidden cities, including pyramidal structures. These pyramids were somewhat at a variance from the design that we had promulgated. However, the original ideas were the same with the addition of a desire or intention of creating places of meditation and rest, a feeling of the presence of the One Creator, these pyramids then being for all people, not only initiates of those to be healed. 
They left this density when it was discovered that their plans were solidly in motion and, in fact, had been recorded. During the next approximate 3,500 years of these plans became, though somewhat distorted, in the state of near completion in many aspects. Therefore, as is the case of the breaking of the quarantine, the entity who was helping the South American entities along the South American way you call in part the Amazon River, went before the Council of Saturn to request a second attempt to correct in person the distortions which had occurred in their plans. This having been granted, this entity or social memory complex returned, and the entity chosen as messenger came among the people once more to correct the errors. Again, all was recorded and the entity rejoined its social memory complex and left your skies. As in our experience, the teachings were, for the most part, greatly and grossly perverted to the extent in later times of actual human sacrifice rather than the healing of humans. Thus, this social memory complex is also given the honor, duty of remaining until those distortions are worked out of the distortion complex of your people. May we ask if there's any questions of a brief nature before we close? Question, is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Since you stated that you seems to be low on energy, is it possible to have another session later on today? Ra, all is well with alignment. However, this instrument would benefit from rest from the trance state for this diurnal period. I am Ra, I leave this instrument now. I leave each of you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. <laughs>